So Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl are nearly upon us. The wait is almost over, and very soon we are going to have the remakes of the Sinnoh games that we've wanted for so long finally in our hands to be able to play to our heart's content. Obviously, the big thing with this remake is that it's taking a very faithful approach, but even with it having such a faithful style, there are still some things that you are going to want to look out for while you're playing the game, because there could very well be some very interesting new details, even despite all the faithfulness, that you're going to want to keep your eyes peeled for as you go throughout your Sinnoh adventure. And that is what we are talking about today. Five very interesting and cool things that you should keep an eye out for while you are playing Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Okay, so talking about Sinnoh now, you may be wondering what you possibly would have to keep your eye out for in these games considering they're almost a carbon copy of the original. Well, my friends, obviously there's a few things, hence why we are here, but the first of those that I want to talk about are references and or connections to Pokemon Legends Arceus. I and many others have been talking about this one pretty much since these games came out, but considering these games are releasing so closely together, they're both Sinnoh games, and they've both been marketed at the same time, meaning that when one gets a trailer, the other gets a trailer on the exact same day, it's very, very likely that these two games are going to be connected in some way, or at least reference each other somehow. And that could be in the form of some kind of event that connects the two together, that could be in the form of the Hisuian Pokemon from Legends Arceus somehow becoming available in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, or it could just be some type of utterance that a character or NPC makes mention of concerning something in Legends Arceus or vice versa. There's a number of different ways that these two games could reference and connect to each other, and whatever that ends up being, I think it's very, very likely to happen, which obviously is going to be a new bit of content that you're not really going to know where to find, hence why you got to keep your eye out for it, because especially if this ends up being some kind of more concrete connection, a more legitimate connection, which I do think is possible, you're obviously going to want to be able to look around for that and find that and experience that because that's going to be a special moment, whatever that is. Personally, while still keeping my expectations in check, but also being hopeful, I would really like to see some of the characters in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl that have ancestors in Legends Arceus reference their ancestors in the game. Like, for instance, it would be really cool to see Professor Rowan talk about his ancestor, Commander Kamado. It would be awesome to see Cyrus reference his ancestor, Captain Silene, and so on. Those kinds of connections, even though they're minor, which is why I think they're totally reasonable, would just add so much to the game and would be a really, really cool Easter egg to sort of stumble upon, especially if you're not expecting it with it being a faithful remake and all. So in general, Legends Arceus references are something that you should look out for because I think they're more likely than not. And in particular, this is how I would like to see it done because it would just be great. Another thing that I think is very, very likely to happen in these games, which is why I think it's not so much a question if it will happen as it is how it will happen, is what might happen if you transfer a Pokemon from the original Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum to Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. I bring this up for two reasons. Number one, it is entirely possible to take a Pokemon from the original Gen 4 games to the remakes as Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl will eventually be getting support to and connection to Pokemon Home, and therefore you will be able to take your Gen 4 Pokemon all the way up to the modern day and eventually get them in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. And when you do, 
it's very possible that something will be done to commemorate that, because as we saw in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, the same thing was done for Pokemon that were taken all the way from Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald to those games. You were given a special commemorative plaque if you were able to pull this off, and it was a really nice little Easter egg for those people who actually tried to pull this off and were able to pull it off with their original Hoenn Pokemon. It was just a really nice, wholesome thing to put in the game. And I fully expect it to be in this game as well, since again, it's possible to do that. And even though this is a faithful remake, it's a very, very minor thing to put in. We've already seen some things that weren't in the original games, like following Pokemon and the ground underground and things like that. So I fully expect something like this to be in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. It's just a question if they will do the same thing as they did in Auras, or if they'll do something slightly differently. We'll have to wait and see, but it's definitely something you should try out because you might just get some kind of special event or special diploma that will reward you for your curiosity. This next one is a little bit more of a toss-up because of the whole faithful thing once again, but I do think it's possible to happen, and that is references to Pokemon Sword and Shield. Obviously, Pokemon Sword and Shield are the primary games of this generation, and as such, in a normal situation, you would expect a lot of references between the two. You would expect Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl to make a ton of mention to Galar and its various characters, but the whole faithful remake thing obviously throws a wrench into that big time. These kinds of connections were something that we absolutely saw in remakes like Heart Gold and Soul Silver and Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, but with Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, obviously they're going in a little bit different of a direction. So the likelihood of something like this is admittedly lower, but I don't think it's entirely impossible either. We are still in Generation 8 after all, and it could literally be something as small as a line of NPC dialogue, like maybe some NPC out there in the game is from Galar and he talks about his hometown of Wedgehurst or something like that. It could really be that simple, and I think something that simple is likely, and so it's something you will want to keep your eye out for because if you're anything like me, I talk to all the NPCs and hearing a little just awesome neat piece of dialogue like that really can just kind of make a game because it's a nice moment even if it's just a literal piece of NPC dialogue so I really hope they do something like this and even if it's not as likely as it's been in the past I definitely think it's worth keeping an eye on as you play the game so make sure you talk to all of those NPCs. And finally, probably the most intriguing point on this list, not only for the subject matter itself, but also for the likelihood of something like this being in the game, is any and all kind of hints to the next generation of Pokemon. Now, you might think that this is a big claim to make, saying that it's possible that we could have some kind of hint to Generation 9 in this game of all games with it being so faithful to the originals and things like that, but I would not put it past Game Freak or the Pokemon Company for a second to do something like this. The first reason is because they just like to hint and tease in general. It's a pretty well-known thing at this point that they do this fairly often and they enjoy it. So you always gotta keep an eye out in any game that you're playing Pokemon-wise because something like that could always happen, but it's a little more likely in this case because with Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl and Legends Arceus, these games are very, very likely the last Pokemon games, main series anyway, of this generation, meaning the very next main series games that we get after these two is most likely going to be Generation 9, and when you get to the later parts of any given generation is when they start to ramp up the hints for the next generation. We saw this on full display at the end of Generation 7 in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon for Generation 8. There were so many hints to Sword and Shield as well as even Pokemon Let's Go in those games. If you looked at the back portion of the cover art, it literally said, let's go 
right there, plain as day, which I mean, given that those games came out a year later, seems pretty obvious that that was a little bit of a tease at what was to come. And as I said, we also got multiple hints to Pokemon Sword and Shield with not only a literal poster of Gigantamax Toxtricity being on display in the Game Freak offices, but also we had a literal NPC that was from Galar, one of the tourist trainer classes that appears in the Alola games talks about a power spot and asking you if a power spot is nearby and then after you defeat her in a battle she's like oh my Pokemon didn't get powered up and at the time we had no idea what she was talking about but now we obviously know that power spots are where you can Dynamax Pokemon. This was a very clear hint at what was to come that we were only able to see in retrospect. So with all that in mind I think even with the faithful nature of these remakes, it is very, very likely that something will happen that will allude to either the next games in the series after this one and Legends Arceus, but also the next generation altogether. Just like Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon though, this might not even be something that we will be able to know is a hint until after we get the reveal of the next generation, and then we can go back and be like, ah, oh, that was a hint, because there was no way that we would know those hints in Ultra Sun and Moon were actually hints until after the fact. So it might be another situation like that, but either way, it's absolutely a reason to make you keep your eyes just a little more closely focused on the game and just keep you looking a little more closely at everything and honestly if for nothing else it's just one more fun thing to do as you're going throughout your adventure so keep your eyes peeled because if you're a real detective you might just find something cool that could lead us in the direction of what the next pokemon games and the next pokemon generation is going to be and there you have it everybody, those were five things that you should absolutely look out for while you are playing Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Have you already played the game at this point? Are you watching this in the future when it's already out? Or are you watching this when it comes out and you're still hotly anticipating the release? Let me know in the comments below and let me know if you find anything interesting in the game as you get the chance to play it. Thank you as always so much for watching. I will be back very soon with another one and until then as always always. I love you guys very much and I will smell you guys later.